Good afternoon. I just want to welcome all of you for uh, coming this afternoon to our All City Honors Choir concert. And this is unique this year because of some facility uh, restrictions we've had with the bond work we're doing around uh, our city. Uh, we had to change the, the way that we're doing this concert today. And so we have middle and high school uh, choirs both stacked together. And I'm excited about that because it gives us the opportunity uh, to really appreciate the way that students progress in our system of music here in the Salem Kaiser School District. And so if you have not been to a middle school choir or to a high school choir concert in, in some time, you're in for a treat to see the quality, uh, the excellent musicianship of these students um, and the, what they're going to display for us today. I wanted to uh, take a moment and just uh, for a couple of recognitions as well. Uh, we have a group that uh, are here today. Uh, if, you know, I'm thinking about um, a group in our district of staff members that work harder than these, and I just could not think of any group that works harder than our music teachers. Uh, many of them are in here today. And so if you are a music teacher of any level, would you please stand so we could recognize you for your commitment and passion to our kids? Thank you very much. I know there are many others scattered throughout the classrooms and behind me as well, but we appreciate their effort. Another group that uh, I get the pleasure of working with often our administrators in our middle and high schools. And there are some that are here today. They're going to be sort of up and down today's schedule as the orchestra and the band concerts are also today as well. But if you're a middle or high school administrator, would you please stand so we can recognize you as well. So parents, thank you as well, and grandparents, and guardians, for the work that you do supporting our students. I know I have a daughter in the, uh, the high school All City uh, concert, and getting her over here uh, is just one way that I support her, and I know many of you do, especially students that do not drive yet. Uh, lots of driving back and forth, early mornings, late evenings, all of that, so thank you. Uh, that is really uh, an important part of supporting our students as they are able to access this important program in our district. So, and finally, I, it, it's a little odd uh, to recognize this person because she's not here, but I'm gonna <coughs> recognize her anyway, uh, at least to put it out uh, in front of you because there's very few times that we would have the ability to honor her, but many of you know Mary Lou Boderman, she has been the director of middle school, uh, or excuse me, of our district uh, music program and, and drama programs. I've known Mary Lou for many years. I worked with her for one year at South Salem High School where she was an amazing music educator, uh, just an amazing educator, period. And Mary Lou has worked in our district for over 20 years as a teacher, and then an additional nine years as the director of our Salem Kaiser music programs. And if you saw the paper, Maybe a week or so ago, you saw a really nice article about Mary Lou. Uh, she's sick today, 
uh, she has no voice, temporary, but, um, and I was hoping to kind of embarrass her today a little bit where she couldn't fight back. Um, but, um, and she'll, she'll get better, uh, no worries there, but I just wanted to recognize her publicly uh, for the work that she's done, and uh, it's, she's an amazing, amazing educator. She'll be a very hard to replace. So with that, I would like to ask Andy and Dean. <coughs> Andy is the program assistant for music and drama in our district, and she will get us started with our program today. Again, thank you very much for being here. Thank you. As Matt mentioned, I am program assistant for music and drama, and uh, in the absence of our supervisor, I have the honor of emceeing today. Uh, before we get to the MC, however, I'd just like to make a note that Mary Lou has not missed an All City in 24 years. In fact, she was at the original, she was part of the first original All City concert. So she is missed and she sends her sincere regrets. Um, I knew it would be on a tight schedule today, so I hope you don't mind that I will be reading my comments. So here we go. Ladies and gentlemen, we couldn't be more proud of the students that will be taking the stage today. We are here to celebrate their truly outstanding accomplishment as being selected as a member of the Salem, Salem Kaiser All City Ensemble. All of our performers were selected through a rigorous audition process, and all of us should be very proud of their hard work and achievement. The format of this year's All City Celebration Concerts is quite different than in the past. The district's construction projects necessitated a venue change, and we thank you for your patience as we have moved our tradi traditional two evening performances into a three-concert, one-day extravaganza. <laughs> Next year, we hope to be back in our former venue at, South Salem, at North Salem High School, and in 2022, we look forward to being one of the inaugural events in the new state-of-the-art 900-seat auditorium on the campus of South Salem High School. We hope that you all received a program for the concert. There are many individuals that are mentioned throughout the program who deserve to be thanked for their contributions to this event, but due to our time restrictions, I would ask that, in lieu of public recognition, that you all take the time to read the program carefully and thank the individuals personally as you may have occasion to encounter them. Their contributions have been significant. Please let them know they are appreciated. Without further ado, the performance that you are about to enjoy simply would not have been possible Good afternoon, it's not good evening this year. Uh, my name is Lucas Anderson, I'm the director of choirs at Stevens Middle School, the coordinator for the All City Middle School Choir. It's my pleasure to introduce to you today Dr. Eugene Rogers. He comes to us from University of Michigan, where he is the director of choirs. We have had him back many, many years. This man is an absolute treasure and so much fun to work with. We learn many, many things from him every year he comes back. It's just a blessing to have him here. The kids have done an incredible job and I know you're going to enjoy this afternoon's performance. So would you please help me in welcoming to the stage Dr. Eugene Rogers.
I just want to quickly say good afternoon, everyone. It's such a pleasure to be back. Uh, this is, feels like coming home for me. I think this is my sixth all city uh, to do in Salem Kaiser School District, and it's always a joy to be home. Thank you. And I know you know this, but this doesn't feel like an all-city chorus to me. I travel around many places and get to conduct, and this always feels like I'm in, in an all-state somewhere. Please give these students a round of applause. We are to an American folk song, Shenandoah, featuring Mrs. Rogers, one of our teachers here uh, on the flute.
while we're waiting for the sopranos and altos to come on, I'll talk a little bit about their song. Uh, the teachers chose this wonderful program for our students today, and I was so excited that they chose this next piece, Ain't Gonna Let Nobody Turn Me Around. How many of you know that song? Ain't gonna let nobody turn me around, turn me around. So we then had a wonderful discussion. What are we talking about? Ain't gonna let nobody turn me around. And this led us to great discussions about Martin Luther King and Rosa Parks and all of these wonderful figures, the Freedom Riders, and what that meant in American history. I think you'll be rather impressed. I've been really impressed with the Sopranos and Altos and their courage and embracing the song. We're intentionally making some percussive sounds because you can't sing, I'm not gonna let nobody turn me around if you're not marching a little bit. Uh, this is Ain't Gonna Let Nobody Turn Me Around. sing our last song for you today, I just would be remiss if I didn't express my sincerest gratitude to Mr. Lucas Anderson and all the wonderful choral directors here in the Salem-Kaiser area, the middle school directors, really, all the work to, to do this in a day and a half, all the work has already been done. I just put the icing on the cake. Can we thank these wonderful choral directors? <laughs> this everywhere I go because we have to be our brother's keeper. I think music is alive and well in Salem-Kaiser, which is so great. But I encourage you 
when you hear of arts programs dying around the state and other places around the country, please get out and support the arts. We need the arts. I, it makes us what I consider whole people. Let's, let's spread that goodness to everybody so not only their children, but their children's children can have this wonderful experience. Thank you to the administrators in the Salem-Kaiser area for your wonderful support of the arts. We end with Jambo, a Swahili East African piece.
Ya se acabó, mamá. Está muy seria, mamá. Vamos, Gemis.